Okay, so this is the setup for solo and duo show. I'm set up here in my garage because just had a rehearsal here the other night with the duo, singer from the duo. Uh, I'll walk you through here using this powered speaker. Sometimes I use this as a monitor depending on what's set up. Um, I might use this towards the front of the house. Uh, I have a larger uh, setup with a subwoofer that I use as the main most of the time. And for the mixer, I'm using the QSC Touch Mix, which I did not understand at all when it came out. I was like, why the fuck would I want that? And now I understand exactly why I would want that. It's actually the perfect thing for a solo performer. So it's got a screen built in, but you could still like grab a hold of a fader on here and turn the knob um, so you don't have to like drag everything with your fingertip. And then as you, you can drill down into menus and get into some pretty sophisticated stuff for something that's only a thousand dollars. There are other options that I think are pretty good. Um, so, uh, Singer's mic, my mic, my guitar, the percussion, which I'll show you in a second, and the click, which is this right here. This is a little Switchcraft jobber. Um, runs out of the 8th inch to my iPad, which I'm sure one of my children stole and is watching crappy children's television with at this very moment. Uh, but I can do that, and using this, I can send the click not to front of house, but just to the monitors. And this one has got four aux sends with XLR outs right here. Or you can send out this one, which looks like it's plugged into phones, but it's actually plugged into the one that's aux three. And I could send the click just to this, but not send it to front of house. Um, so that's one of the things I use that for. I end up using um, in-ear monitors even on pretty basic solo gigs, especially indoors, not that I've played indoors in over a year, um, but when it gets super noisy, it's nice to have your, sort of your transits and your attack and be able to tune your singing. Uh, I dig that a lot. I don't bring a computer on a gig anymore, haven't for some time. Uh, okay, so that covers the mixer and all that. Uh, and the click, let's look at this percussion thing. This is the Roland SPD-1 kick. Runs off of batteries. I can use a plug on there, but I'm not doing that currently. Um, it's pretty easy. It's got a bazillion, not a bazillion, it's got 22 different sounds and can hold two uh, more sounds that I plug in myself. And you can kind of mess around with that and tune it. And the way I've got it set up here is in the HX Stomp, um, I've branched it off. So this is the second input. It comes in and now I've got it just running through a compressor. Then it comes back out here and exits here as the second send. And that goes into this radial DI box. Um, don't have to have the radial DI box because these first four um, are combi jacks that I could just run a quarter inch from here to there, but I've got the DI boxes, so I end up using it. Um, Morningstar MC6, I really don't use that much when I'm switching between like acoustic and electric on the same gig. I've got this, which is nice. It gives me this toggle, but I can also do, um, like I can change the mode and go up into this uh, and open up the delay for playing some U2 stuff. Anyways, um, let's hear some things real quick. This has got a 909 sound here. Uh, this is the TR kick. I can. Kind of pick the note I want to use. Nice for like superstition. Um, and then I use this one a lot. Uh, just do the two and four there. This guy right here is a volume pedal set up. Um, no signal running through it. It's just got it in the aux here and it goes into the uh, expression on the line six. And I use that so that the output block, or not the output block, but the main output is controlled by this. And this is like zero dB and this is like plus four dB. So I've got like my normal strumming thing and if I need a little bit more juice for a solo, I might take it halfway up. Or if I'm finger picking, I might just peg it right there to not have to exert myself quite so much. Um, I don't know, I can show you my signal path for the acoustic if that's something you care about. Um, 
Okay, so again, splits right here with the Y to allow me to give this guy its own. Uh, and then the acoustic path is the uh, Three Sigma IRs. It is not, there you go. Um, I've got one that's like a Gibson J45, and then that runs into the LA Studio Comp. I've got this simple pitch on here because this is kind of a holdover from my previous rig where, where I would play bass sometimes playing with another singing acoustic guitar player. It's still there. I might use it. I guess I could use it with looping, but I don't really care for looping. Um, I like it as a practice tool. I don't like to gig with it. Um, I've got the chorus on there for Little Red Corvette. I've got this harmonic tremolo for um, Let's Stay Together and Girl Crush. And then I've just got a basic room reverb on there. Same patch, done again. Uh, but on this one, you've got simple delay and then the mod chorus echo. And honestly, this is already set up with the appropriate tempo so that I can even use sort of like the delay repeats to set my tempo. And then play, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. That's basically the only thing, the only reason that exists is I still haven't found what I'm looking for. That's the whole rig. Um, yeah, that's the whole rig.